Welcome to Huffy Videos. Today I'm going to show you how to assemble a child's coaster brake bike in five easy steps with just a few tools. With the coaster brake bike, the brake is engaged by pedaling backwards, so no hand brakes are required. This is the 16-inch Pro Thunder bicycle, but the same basic steps are common to all 12 to 16-inch Huffy coaster brake bikes. Your owner's manual has detailed instructions for your model. Let's get started. For this bike, you only need an adjustable wrench and a 15 millimeter open wrench. Open the box and take out the pieces. There are some small parts, so be careful to keep them away from young children. Make sure you have two training wheels and two pedals, a front wheel, a seat and post assembly with your manual tied on, a stem and handlebar assembly, a frame, fork, and back wheel assembly. If you are missing any parts, contact service at Huffy.com or call 1-800-872-2453 or the number listed for your country on the customer service contact information sheet tucked into your manual. Carefully remove all the packing materials, including the protective caps covering the wheel axles and the black bar protecting the fork. Here we go. Be sure to understand and comply with all the warnings in the instructions. Unscrew the axle nuts and wheel retainers from the front wheel by hand and set aside. With the bike facing forward, set the wheel in the fork. Position the wheel retainers, making sure the tabs are in the fork tab holes. Screw the axle nuts back on by hand. Spin the wheel to make sure it spins freely. Tighten the nuts with a wrench. On to step two. This step is important as loose handlebars, seats, or pedals can cause accidents. Insert the full handlebar stem assembly, including the loose piece at the bottom, into the fork with the handlebars facing forward. Make sure you have the stem in at least as far as the ribbed minimum insertion mark. This will ensure the handlebars stay securely in the headset. Tighten the stem bolt by hand just enough to hold it into position. Align the the front tire by turning the handlebars. Tighten the stem with a bolt wrench. Check the tightness by twisting the handlebars. If the handlebars move, tighten the bolt again. Later, you may need to raise or lower the handlebars to fit your child. Now for the seat. With the seat facing the handlebars, lined up with the top bar of the frame, insert the seat post to the minimum insertion mark or lower. Tighten the nut of the seat post bracket with a wrench. Check the tightness of the seat by twisting it side to side. If it moves, tighten it again. Later, you may need to raise or lower the seat to fit your child. Two steps to go. Note that the pedals are marked with stickers showing left and right. The pedals are coded as if you are sitting on the bike facing the handlebars. Take the pedal marked R with right-handed threads. Start by inserting the pedal by screwing it by hand into the right crank. Do not force the pedal into the crank. If it does not screw in by hand, check that the correct pedal is being used and that the threads are not cross-threaded. Tighten the pedal with a wrench in a clockwise direction after the pedal has been inserted about four to five turns by hand. The shoulder of the pedal must be touching the crank and the pedal must be tight. The pedal marked L has left-handed threads. Start inserting it in the left crank by hand and tighten it in a counterclockwise direction. Again, after four or five turns, use a tool to tighten it. Make sure the shoulder of the pedal is touching the crank and the pedal is tight. If you're not using training wheels, you're almost done. Give the bike a thorough check, including the tightness of fasteners you did not assemble. If you want training wheels, there's one more step. Unscrew the axle nut from the axle. Pull the alignment tab out and rotate 90 degrees if necessary so the male notch of the tab points to the rear of the wheel, fitting into the female slot of the frame. Fit the top of the training leg wheel over the alignment tab. Put the axle nut back on and tighten loosely by hand. Repeat the process on the other side. Make sure both training wheels are the same distance from the ground, pointing straight down. Tighten the axle nut securely. Congratulations, your bike is ready to roll. For more information about bike fitting and safe riding, 
see your manual or visit Huffy.com. <laughs>